I think that's, that, that's our turtle. Oh, yes. Now what I want to do real quick is a bite test for both these turtles, and definitely not on me. I've got some little bamboo strands right here, and we just want to see how powerful these turtles are individually. Snapping turtles are some of the most prehistoric looking reptiles you'll ever run into. And across the southern United States, there are two different snapping turtles. The common, a much more smaller, snappier species, and the alligator, which can grow upwards of 200 pounds and can snap off fingers. The turtles look very different, but not everyone can tell them apart. So today, we're going to be showing you how to tell the difference between these two snapping turtles. Hello there, buddy. How are you doing? Goodness. Have a look at this. This is one of our alligator snapping turtles. Now one of you guys in the comments actually named this turtle and his name is now officially Trapper. This is Trapper the alligator snapping turtle. And he's going to be joining us today. Once we can catch a common snapping turtle, we're going to do a comparison of the two species. Now I don't have an adult common snapping turtle, but I do know where we can catch some. So we're going to take this guy with us and uh, go film a versus video. Throughout North America, Common snapping turtles can be seen living in almost any body of fresh water, from ditches and ponds to bayous and swamps. And as their name suggests, they're a pretty common and widespread species, even being invasive in other parts of the world. However, the larger, older turtles are becoming harder and harder to find, especially in the south, where they don't tend to get as big. So we're heading to an area in South Louisiana, I recently saw a very large common snapping turtle basking. All right, guys, so what we're doing is there's a waterway right at the end of this, and uh, a few days ago, I actually came here and saw a big, big common snapping turtle. Now, I haven't seen one in a while, so I'm really hoping he's still around and I can somehow get a chance to catch him. I couldn't catch him when I first saw him, but now I'm hoping I can kind of sneak up on him and get him, so let's go. My turtle. Come here, bud. Come here. They're just sitting in the mud like that. This is what's called an eastern, ah, eastern mud turtle. They look kind of similar to a snapping turtle. They've got a little pointed nose, but what you can tell is they don't have a long tail. Mud turtles smell really bad. Not a lot of things will eat these turtles, but uh, they're pretty common around here. And uh, I'm thinking we're getting pretty close to a snapping turtle. The water is very low right now. So I'm thinking I will be able to get one as long as this mud isn't too thick. There's about a six inches of mud here and then underneath that there's some clay so I can actually walk through this and uh, catch turtles so I'm gonna go ahead and put this little guy back and uh, we're gonna keep looking for a snapping turtle. Here you go bud, right back into your mud. Alright so this is where I saw that big sucker the other day and the water was pretty high it was about up to this tree so I couldn't get to him even with my boots on. He stuck his head up brought it straight back down. And with the water being as low as it, as it is, I think I would have seen him by now if he was still here. I don't think he's here anymore. Obviously he can bury, so I know where perfectly telling. But the water is pretty muddy. It'll be a little bit difficult to find one, but at least I know that there has been one here. He was pretty decent size, about 15 to 20 pounds. I'm just going to start walking these little stretches of water and uh, hopefully finding one. Common snapping turtles will be buried in the bank, hunting in shallow waters, and even crossing roads to get to new areas. Alligator snapping turtles prefer flowing water systems and are much harder to find. Good thing we don't have to find one of those right now. All right, guys, this is Zachary one week in the future. You probably think I'm pretty stupid, but uh, I did actually catch an alligator snapping turtle. So I probably should have waited a bit longer. I could have gotten both captures. But if you do want to see the video with this turtle, make sure to subscribe, and uh, that'll be next week's video. There's a big turtle right here. It's a snapping turtle. I think it's common. Oh, I think that's, that, that's our turtle. Oh, yikes. Oh, hello, sweet. I think this is the same turtle. I think so. Yes! I'm just gonna give him a shot. 
Oh, that's a big turtle. Have a look at this. That's a common snapper. Exactly what we were looking for. And a pretty decent sized one too. They don't get as big here in the south. Oh, they big. Hello, bud. They're not a fast turtle, so he wasn't gonna take off from me. Look at this. This is why they're so hard to find. They'll bury down like this. Yep, no, no, don't get away from me. Don't get away. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Wash him off. Goodness, strong turtle. Strong, strong. Oh, that's why they're called snapping turtle. Now, commons are a little bit snappier than alligators. And as I stated, they are much more, whoop, it's okay, I'm just cleaning you up. They're much more common species. This only took a little while to find. Ah, okay, all right, I get you. I haven't been searching for them, but I haven't seen one in a while, so that's pretty cool to see. This is an adult, I have to guess male, looking at the tail. And uh, they're a muddy little sucker, bearing down in the mud, living in the mud. It's okay. Yowzer, they got claws. You can use a tail to properly handle it. Yeah. Goodness, that's a heavy turtle. Well, what we're going to be doing is comparing this to the alligator snapping turtle. They're a very different looking species, and this is an absolutely perfect, whew, absolutely perfect common snapping turtle. Looks great, looks very healthy. Got a couple of leeches on him, but that's pretty normal. That's normally what you'll see on guys like this. And this is a massive one for here in South Louisiana because uh, they tend to be a bit smaller down here. He's behaving pretty well though, he's not clawing me, which is great. Whew. But that'll snap you pretty hard, so we're gonna get this guy back up there and uh, go ahead and compare this to the alligator snapping turtle. Really awesome, we finally got one. Very nice. Come on, buddy. Woo. All right, we finally got both of our snapping turtle species right in front of us. It's all right, bud. It's okay. I'm keeping them just far apart to where they can't bite each other. These are two very decent sized snapping turtles. Now, you can already see with them both right next to each other, some crazy differences between these two turtles. Now, the alligator snapping turtle is nicknamed the loggerhead snapping turtle, and you can see why when they're right next to each other. He's got a huge, big triangle-shaped head, and the common snapping turtle, while it's got a massive head for a turtle, has a much narrower shaped head. Now, I'm trying to keep them very still right now. It'd be very dangerous for me to try and hold both of these turtles at once because they're both anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds. In fact, the common here in this setting is actually a bump bigger than our alligator snapping turtle. But that's not the norm. Alligator snapping turtles grow to be upwards of 200 pounds, whereas the common snapping turtle maxes around 50 or 60 pounds, which that's a massive one. Now, what's really important is that I keep these guys a good distance away from each other because they will accidentally bite each other. They wouldn't fight, they wouldn't try to eat each other, but they would accidentally bite each other while I'm handling them. So that's very important right now that I keep their, their safety priority as well as mine. Now, a really cool trait for both of these turtles is their tail. Now, osteoderms, let me turn him up, are basically these little bone plates right under the skin. And it's basically bone with scale on top of it. Now for the alligator snapping turtle, the osteoderms shrink as they get older. Whereas the common snapping turtle, the osteoderms grow as they get older. Which is another really good way to identify these two species. Now both of these turtles can be extremely dangerous. This guy in my left hand, he could take off a finger. The guy in my right hand, he could cut a huge chunk out of it. Now, let's talk about the bite force of both these turtles. The common snapping turtle is the one that most people get bit by, but their bite force is anywhere from 250 to 300 pounds per square inch, or PSI for short. The alligator snapping turtle can get upwards of 1,000 PSI, pounds per square inch. Now those numbers don't show that much to you guys. Let me explain this. The common snapping turtle causes lots of hospital visits, however, they've never taken off a finger. Now the alligator snapping turtle, there have been nine recorded instances of people losing their fingers to this turtle. That's a pretty decent amount, and that's not even including the ones that aren't reported. If you don't know how to handle these turtles, never go and mess with them. They can be extremely dangerous, and about this size is when they start being genuinely dangerous, where you can uh, lose chunks of your body and lose fingers to these turtles. Now one thing you'll notice is, for the alligator snapping turtle, I'm holding it right above here to where I can lift him up, and to me, they're a lot easier to handle. The common snapping turtle, never do this. It's a good way to lose the tip of your finger. 
That little gap there may seem big enough to fit a finger, but they'll turn their head in, turn it sideways, and bite. And oftentimes they can get your finger. Never try it. I've never been bit by a snapping turtle before, and I've handled plenty of them. These guys, pretty decent size, not the easiest animals to handle, especially two at once. That's why I'm keeping them on the ground here and keeping them a nice distance away from each other. But never, ever go and try this. Never go and mess with these turtles. If you see one, take some pictures. They're a beautiful animal. And if they're in the road, make sure to stop for them, let them cross. And uh, if you have something that you can help them get across with or even chase them off the road with, that's the best thing to do. Picking up these turtles can be very, very dangerous. And if you've never done it before and you've never practiced it, don't try it. I'm a professional. I've been handling these guys since I was little. And uh, I know my way around snapping turtles, for sure. Now what I want to do real quick is a bite test for both these turtles. And definitely not on me. I've got some little bamboo strands right here. And we just want to see how powerful these turtles are individually. So I'm going to start with the alligator snapping turtle. And we're going to see just how hard his bite is on a piece of bamboo. Which is about the density of a finger. All right, I got this little piece of bamboo here. Let's see just how fast that bite is. Watch it. Bam. See that crunch? He is not letting go. There's a saying for snapping turtles that they won't let go until the thunder rumbles. And uh, looking at that, pretty accurate. He's busted straight through that bamboo. And he's not going to let go for a little while. So imagine if that was your hand. You slipped your hand in there, whack, holds on and that bite pressure from a turtle like this could actually take off your finger. So this is a turtle definitely not to be messed with. All right, he's holding on to his piece of bamboo. Now we're gonna try it with you. All right, here you go. Bam. Good bite. But as you can see, all right, that's good, buddy. Thank you. Normally commons let go a lot sooner, but look, all there is is an indent in the bamboo from the bite. Obviously, one of these guys, this is pretty hard this is hard like bone so he's not gonna cut through like that so obviously common snapping turtles don't have nearly as powerful as a bite of an alligator snapping turtle but bamboo is pretty hard it's not a soft material so ah. bamboo is definitely not a soft material so it makes sense that a common might not be able to snap through it but that alligator snapping turtle he went straight through it man it's a strong turtle though and their claws can tear you up too both of these turtles are extremely powerful all right, well, this is about as close as you're gonna get to me handling both of these turtles at once. Whew. And like I said, the common is a bit more aggressive. So we're gonna go ahead and let the common go and we're gonna bring Trapper back to his enclosure. So, uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Whew. Two snappers. Very angry. Right, here you go, sweetie. Right back away from me. That's a big turtle. Well guys, that's it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed. It took a lot of work to move all those snapping turtles. So if you did enjoy this one, make sure to subscribe and like this video. We'll see you guys next time.